Yo ho hello! Welcome aboard Skellywags! It's me, Roger Riptide, Skipper of the Last Resort, and today we're playing a new game! Sable! I don't know all that much about it really, I just thought it looked neat, and so I want to play it. Apparently we'll be just sort of exploring a desert, helping people with their problems, maybe solving some environmental puzzles, uh, so I think it should be a chill good time. Um, as far as other games go, I tweeted out, but I, I won't be continuing the Fire Emblem series on stream. I, I do I do think I want to finish the game on my own time, and if I like it there, then maybe I'll get more in-depth and maybe eventually it'll pay off where... In the far distant future, in the timeline where Roger really, really likes Fire Emblem, maybe he would play one of the routes on a higher difficulty, and that might be a bit more rewarding. But uh, the way it was going, I just <laughs> every time I was like, "All right, time to do a Fire Emblem stream," I just I I didn't look forward to the streams as much as I did with a. Uh, Dead Cells or Citizen Sleeper, and I, I knew that was a sign that I did not want to do another 10 streams of it. So, I won't. Uh, sorry about that if you were enjoying it. I hope that the new games I play instead are to your liking as well. Um, because I'm having a good time here. Uh, also, with Dead Cells, I have been playing off-stream, like I said I would, and I did manage to get both my first and second boss cells, but boy, the difficulty is ramping up. Um, with our... With, with two boss cells, the game is a lot, a lot harder. I feel like, uh, I, I feel like the challenge it's familiar to when I was just starting out with the game, where, you know, I can get... Uh, sometimes I'll die within this before reaching the first boss. Uh, most of the time I'll die somewhere in the area after that. But just struggling to make it all the way to the end. But I enjoy it. But the idea that it's going to get even harder and harder... That's going to be intense, so I'll do my best, but it, I am hitting a bit of a wall there. I wonder if I really will make it to five boss cells, so don't don't hold your breath, but I'm, I'm enjoying that uh, on my own time. Okay, but enough of that. I think it's time we get into today's game. Let me just adjust the audio. Okay, so here we are. Sable. New game. Oh, this file, please. I would. All these shapes feel like I'm being brainwashed in ways I can't understand. Shed works? <laughs> yeah, I sure hope it does. Oh no, not the bug sounds. Just this morning. I had a rude awakening. Woke up at 4.30 a.m. And I thought, why am I awake at 4.30 a.m.? And then I heard it. The rustling coming from my closet of centipede moving about. So that was a fun thing to take care of. And why I started at the old usual time rather than the new usual times. 
I needed to <laughs> get some shed eye after that ordeal. Quest started. The ceremony. Use Waz to move Sable. Oh, Sable's my name. Oh, very, very floaty jumps. Okay. Oh, I can climb up. Let me be your pupil. I wish to learn. Oh, getting winded just from that? Got a long way to go, Sable. Is this what you call a sable eye? Alright. Um. Yes. What does this do? It opens the door. And I don't even have to keep standing on it or anything. Space to jump. I already know that. You think I would run around with WASD without pressing space? What kind of a noob do you take me for? Okay. So we can climb all sorts of things. See the crouch. Okay. Ah. Where's my stamina meter? <laughs> this is very silly. Okay. Uh, let's get a move on. Oh wait, there is a stamina meter, that square. But, is it running out? Yes, okay. That's easy to understand. Hmm. Can I make it all the way there? Nope. Any fall damage? Doesn't seem like it. You only sprint with stamina. I'm familiar. going? Oh, well, probably to there. The Ibex camp. What are Ibexes doing camping out? <laughs> He's got a bucket for a head. I can feel Jotty smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth-bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? <sighs> I know, I know. I tell Jody that I know, but that it hasn't quite sunk in yet. She chuckles. I promise you, Sable, you'll be f you're fine. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't eat wait, there are bikes? Desert? With all the sand? I don't know how effective that would be. Maybe with some really thick treads. As long as it's not the Sahara. 
You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws scraping into me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be all right. I told you how much I loved riding my bike as a young woman and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down, you leaned forward, and put those little grasping claws on the handles, and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Jotty reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. <laughs> I changed my mind. No adventure today. I'm not playing the game. <laughs> um. Well, I, I, it's true. I don't know where to start. Uh, what am I going to be doing, Jotty? Jotty's story warms me, but I feel too overwhelmed to let it settle. I tell her with a sigh that I don't know where to begin. She chuckles. Well, I can help with that. You'll need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Hilal will share something. Well, let's say as useful as it is fun, hmm? Hmm. Something as useful as it is fun. Well, just going by the sort of Breath of the Wild comparison so far. If I'm getting a bike and something else that's as useful as it is fun, maybe I'm getting a paraglider? I think I might suspect what Jody's saying, but I stay quiet. I did not stay quiet, I talked to the Skellywags. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. Um, alright, I'll be back soon. I tell Jody I'll be back soon. Sable, don't go planning your return before you've even left. Take all the time you need. It's a big decision you're making out there. I tell her that's why I'm so eager to make it. To choose well and quickly. So that I don't go too far down the wrong path. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. Now go speak with Halal. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Sizo. Sizo? Uh, Sizo. You know how he is. Oh, a compass. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact, you might say. I think most people would call it an heirloom, but artifact, it just sounds so much cooler, don't you think? I take the device in my palm. If it's naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted, each component slides together with incredible satisfying precision. Thank you. Okay. Compass. Oh, it won't let me move until I hold the compass. Oh. Oh, and there's my, uh, waypoints for each of them, I see. Shows me two currencies I don't have yet. And the time of day? Is it seven in the evening? <laughs> oh, are you Halal? The Ibis Horns. As I approach Halal, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Halal's verve and vigor, and on a day like this, I'm ready to match it, with a touch of nerves for balance. Sable, take this. It's dangerous to go alone. Halal hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Halal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over the, it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. Um... 
I didn't bring anything for you. Alal gives a tinkling laugh. Oh, Sable, you can make up for it when you return someday. Oh, how long of a trip am I going on? What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Halal that I feel... Well, it felt warm, and there was something electric about fabric, something. Fuzziness. <laughs> Electricity, connectedness. I feel fuzzy. And you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. Openness? In a stone? That's not how stones work. I look at the stone, it seems quite close. <laughs> oh. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. We'll be able to activate it there. Hello claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate the good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Halal stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember Jotty's words now and tell Halal I'll go and see, I'll, I'll go and see Driss. Whispering stones. Okay. Um. Next is down there. Oh, what's this? <gasps> I stole money. It really is Zelda. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, what's down here? Interesting. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Okay. Surprise! Bet you weren't expecting me to show up from your wagon. Though I've told myself not to be too eager, it's all I can do not to race up to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. It's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or will I get used to it? Driss turns with a bit of a start. Sable, uh, uh, hello! Hello, how are you today? No need to get straight to business. Let's be friendly. I ask Driss how he is. I'm well. I let it hang there for a moment. <laughs> yeah, sounds like small talk to me. Well, I can't do it. I'm too keen and the words spill out. I ask Driss if he might sort of possibly maybe have a bike for me. Your bike? He yells it like it's an idea he's just had. Your bike! Yes, your bike, of course, right, yes, your bike. The bike specifically for Sable, Sable's bike. Bike that I was meant to, I prepared for Sable, because today is your... Gliding, yes. Driss nods along with me. Yes, of course, right. Yes, yes, I do have that. My blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? By which I mean I arranged it for you. In a... Well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. Oh, how very meta of you. Um... A tutorial? It's not here? Not exactly. But that's because this is part of your gliding. You see, Sable, before one can own their own bike, 
They must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it and find I've never heard that part of the gliding, but Driss does seem earnest, sort of. The earnestness of improv, you might say. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to, to try out this bike as a test. Driss gestures to the sand cutter at his side. Oh, hello, camera angle. Uh, it's quite old and a little shabby. A tester if I've ever seen one. I'll give it a go. What's the bike's name? Driss seems scandalized. That, that's a bit personal, don't you think? Just sand cutter will do for now. Youngsters these days always asking questions. Now ride the bike through the rain and back. And here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Okay. When you're not riding it, it will appear as a blue icon on your compass. Very well. Let's get right into it. Forward to accelerate. Space will strafe. I see. Oh, but it's a toggle. Interesting. Steer. Get off. Alright, well, let's go. Go around here and drew. No. No. Strafing doesn't really work for any cool tricks, it would seem. Easy enough. Let's get some air. Oh, there's no jumping. Woo! Okay. Did your tutorial. I return to Driss, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations! How was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? Uh, yeah. There was a lot of weird sounds. Definitely an older model, but it checks out. Surely you'd notice if you were on fire even a little bit. Hey, the guy that invades streams, welcome. Just went out to buy tea and chips. 50 minute walk to and from, so. Well, that's nice. I think the food always tastes better when you've put in a bit of time to prepare it, either from cooking it or going on a nice chill walk. That sounds nice. Enjoy your chips. Um. Yes, I think I would notice if I was on fire. Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Um... I don't know if everything sounded normal. I, I don't have the basis to judge that, so I'll ask him. Driss, is this bike dangerous? Well... He doesn't finish. You got two Takis flavors, basic spicy and this cheesy flavor, but sadly that one isn't that great. Ah, uh, well, you live and learn. It's good to explore both deserts through rite of passages and also new chip flavors. They're always something to discover, good and bad. Some bikes explode and some f work just fine. Have you already been by Hilal? Um... Am I, am I not getting a bike? <laughs> well, you're getting the use of the sand cutter, that's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands? And Hilal's got something to show you too, help you out with more of that er, mobility you're after. With my confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished, I thank Driss very much for his help and his bike, and I depart for Halal. Alright. Well. I guess I only get this rinky-dink bike 
for the tutorial. So let's go find those ruins that were mentioned. The cheesy one is worse than alternatives that are probably cheaper at the same price anyways. Hmm. Wait a second. Does my compass not show me? What's that? Oh, that symbol is my bike. Okay. It's not showing me which way to go for the wall. But I thought it sh was over here about. I'm guessing that's it up on the cliffside. Oh, look at those. Your friend offered you a trade, you give him VR. Raspberry Pi fights the- wow, that's a lot of stuff. And he gave you a guitar, money to repair it, and a Steam Deck. Wow, that's quite the bartering system. I suppose if you guys each wanted all of that from each other, that's a pretty good deal. Whoa, look at those tricks. Okay, that's um... Can I go up this way? No? Oh, there we go. Hmm. Now this might be a problem. Oh no, I can get up there. Anybody home? Statue of the Mothman? Huh. Interesting. Whoa! I'm fine. Just... You know, casual, little... What is that, like an 80-foot fall? <laughs> no, maybe not 80. 60? Might only be 50. Still. I'm okay! Just a kid, entering some ruins, listening to the foreboding music, following the lights. What could go wrong? The stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Um, am I afraid, exhilarated, or maybe it feels right? I think I'm exhilarated. I'm ready for Rohana to know me. I'm ready to know myself. Who's Rohana? I feel her curiosity in the sacred place. I know I am in her sight. Getting some ketchup and mustard.
said I was going on a trip. I didn't know they meant that kind of trip. You're gonna go for now because this game looks cool and you want to experience the story without spoilers. See you later. Sounds good. Uh, glad that it piqued your interest. Definitely check it out. My rock more magical now. Show Halal the activated stone. Hold in space to glide. Oh, I did get a paraglider, so to speak. Cool. Okay. And I think the gliding doesn't seem to use my stamina, so that's nice. It's just a matter of distance. A bala glider. Whoa, oh, there's... There's ladders anyway. Well, ladders are for chumps who can't do this. But, uh... No, seriously, how am I gonna... get out of here? Maybe, uh... Maybe I am a chump who uses ladders. Okay. There we are. Aha. Oh, what's this? Twenty bucks in a chest out in the desert. Oh, yikes. Oh, dear. Goodbye, stamina. Oh, I made it. Whoa. That was some weird physics. Let's just stick to the ladders. I wonder if there's anything over there. Nice. Or wait. Yeah. That's where I came from. I glided down to there. Okay. Doesn't look like there's any secrets. Let's go tell Halal! Now where's my bike? I left it over here. Well, not my bike. There is a chance of the bike just exploding. Wouldn't want to miss the opportunity. Oh, it's morning. I was out all night.
Where's your dumb sand cutter? Okay. Hello! The person who didn't forget that it's my gliding. I did the thing you told me to. When I return to Hall, it's clear they know what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them before I've even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Um... It feels like a hug. I tell Halal that I feel almost embraced by the perpetual, warm and safe in my own little bubble. They swoon. The perpetual. Oh, that's such a nice way of describing it. Halal's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling, just floating on the breeze. Is that a feeling that... Do, do I lose my gliding powers once I get back from my gliding? Once my trip is over? Oh, but I, but I suppose it's best that it fades with age, hmm? Or else I might never have come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there heaving myself into chasms. Huh. Well... That's a bit of a shame, but I guess that's just natural here. Um, I'll heave myself into chasms for you. I tell Halal I'll throw myself into a thousand chasms on their behalf, and they giggle. That's why I like to hear. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. Halal laughs, even if there's a bit of regret in it. I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose gliding wouldn't mean much if it was all gains and no loss, hmm? I think about that, but decide there's already too much loss on my mind to consider it much further. Saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're gonna love it out there, Sable, even when you don't. My advice, try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all of that out there, but the world's an easier place if you put joy first. I thank Halal for their advice and for their help and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance, all in one. I like that. I say goodbye to Halal. Before I go, Halal gestures toward the tower seems Sizzo wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Sizzo has a task for me. What about Driss? I finished my stuff with Alal Driss. What are you up to? Chris asks me a series of increasingly strange questions before I make an excuse to take my leave. Hmm. Alright. Everything in due time. Even bikes. That they forgot about. Hello. Oh, that's a post box. <laughs> Logging in. Hello, Sable. Unread messages. Oh. Have a good day. What do you mean, oh? Shouldn't that be a zero? Why did it look like an O? Jotty greets me warmly. Hello, little glider. That's big glider to you. I tell Jotty I'm actually a big glider. She laughs. You're right, you are. Sable, noted adult, and big glider. I'll keep it in mind. 
Got fire. Lots of stuff. Hello. You look like the kind of person who would have a quest for me. Let's go talk to that guy. As she looks out across the landscape, Zeki's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. Uh, what are you looking at? Zeki's voice is weakly incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That's Alaria over there. I follow her gaze to a little speck in the distance, which I now understand is her daughter, Alaria. Um, do you want me to get her back? Zeki shakes her head. No, she's fine. I'll, I'll get her. I'm just... She shrugs. Parenting. I suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. Let me go see her. What's up, you scamp? Oh! You're probably the kid, right? The balloon was more fun than the person in it! Well, that's not very nice, but I suppose you're entitled to your opinion. Who are you? I approach the cartographer! Ah, greetings, child! I saw you looking longingly at my great balloon! Quite a piece of work, isn't she? Um... Your great balloon. I don't know if I noticed your balloon yet. Try to look around for it. For now, I'll just agree with you. I nod... enthusiastically. I... I don't see a balloon. Um, it really is an impressive vessel, however nervous I get imagining being up there all alone. I wonder if anyone's ever fallen off of one. Best not to ask right now. Well, good to meet you, and oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Jordan. I tell him I'm Sable. I suppose if you've come all this way to see me, it's probably a map you're after, eh, Sable? I love a map. I tell the cartographer I'd love a map. Of course you would! I'll be 50 cuts! To my ears, it's a fair price for a map, but too expensive for a pre-gliding -gl pre glider with empty pockets. I tell Jordan I'll be back. I need to ask Jody for some money. Farewell, child! Oh, there's the balloon. So it lifts the whole house. Oh, I see. It's not connected back there. That's the rudder, so to speak. Can I go in? Nope. Okay. I think I'm just... Oh, there's all the quests completed. Current. I'm only 10 cuts short, I assume. Oh, and I've got an inventory. Whoa, look at all that stuff. Fishing. Clothes. Options. A map. Whoa! That's a big map. Okay. Let's go do the quest. That looks like a massive map. Yeah, I mean, if we take this sort of crater we seem to be in the middle of, and I assume that that's what this circle is here, it's it's a fair size. Um, With the desert game, I'm assuming a lot of it will be empty space, but I think judging by... Uh, how long to beat dot com this game is like 12 ish hours long maybe more maybe less depending on uh, how many things I get sidetracked by oh 
But with an exploration game, the map is what it's all about. There you are. Anything in here? Aha! Uh -huh. Well, I think that'll be enough to buy a map. Sizzo is an outclanner to the Ibexi. I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall, and think of her more as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Machinists, I'm told, are given to their po are given their posts, and by their training and their code, must go to where they are needed. But Sizzo has been among us so long. Oh, sus. Uh, that it's easy to forget it's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there is a perception among the other clans that the Ibexi are quite insular, or that our designation of Ibexi versus Outclanners suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. Well, the very place that you've chosen to live is quite insular, so it makes sense. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us, and who we must leave behind. All are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Sizzo did. Sable, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Better now that I'm getting a bike? Excited for my bike? Or a bit worried, am I really getting a bike? Excited! For my bike! Sizzo has a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most days, and I'm always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes, Jolly told me how excited you were. Sizzo sniffs. She also told me Driss would be coming along to get your bike together, but I think he may have... I knew it. What? I hadn't meant to say that out loud, so I tell her I was just clearing my throat. I don't begrudge Driss's forgetfulness. Were I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might be just as scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hoverbike parts yourself. Wait, I thought he just forgot and left it somewhere. He didn't build it at all? I have to build my own bike? I'm, I'm gonna make my own hover bike? I asked Sizzo if I'm expected to make my own hover bike. No, you're not going to make your hover bike. You're going to build your own hover bike. Hey. No need for semantics. Those both mean the same thing. Yeah, what's the difference? To make suggests you are creating something. But your bike already exists. They simply haven't taken form yet. Yeah, you can miss me with that. Here, take this. Sizzo hands me something. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. Should be useful in finding the old parts. Asks Sizzo where I might start looking. Our bikes are reborn in the ruined ships. Fragments spread apart. A good start would be the ship down there near the camp. Find another up on that great rock near the other side of the canyon. And another behind the old dam on the hill. Use your navigator to mark that down if you need. You'll need to gather a control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. Um, I'll be back before you know it. I tell Sizzo I'll see her soon and head off in search of the components. Together we will create something new out of the old. Okay, N for navigator. Easy enough to remember. You can use the navigator to mark something interesting. 
Uh, you can also add or remove them from the map screen. Yes, very, uh... Oh, can I not move that far? Oh, here's one. And the dam. Oh, I see. What's happening? That's good enough. Um. Exit. And now if I do compass, it shows me red, yellow, and blue. Gotcha. But first, let's go see if we can buy that map. <laughs> Greetings, child. I can't just give you the map for free. Come back when you have some cuts. Farewell, child. Oh, okay. So, um... The thing I have 60 of must not be cuts. Maybe the thing I have zero of is. Let's go borrow some money. Let's go borrow some money. Grandma, where's my allowance? I wanna buy a map. I tell Jotty that the cartographer wants 50 cuts for a map of the Ewer. I try to hedge the way I speak about this, as I'm not entirely sure whether that's too much, not, pre not enough, or precisely its value. She tells me not to worry. Here's some money to get you going on your journey. Use it mostly wisely, and then a little unwisely when the mood strikes. It's good to know the value of money, but you never want to be ruled by it. I thank Jotty effusively, and head out on my way. A good word, effusively. Okay. I got your cut. Give me the goods. Greetings, child. I'll buy that map. Perfect, let's trade then. That you were map for 50 cuts. Oh no, it is. But I had 60 of already. <laughs> and she gave me 200. Looks like stamina regen is paused while gliding. Yeah, so it doesn't use it up, but it does pause the regeneration as well. Okay. I seem to have nothing left for you. Oh, but I could sell stuff. If I had things. Very well. I thank Jordan for the Ewer map. All its vast possibilities. Something about this makes it feel more real. Good luck on your gliding, Sable. I still remember mine. I ask how it was. Short! I knew since I was a boy that cartography was for me, but I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye on the skies, eh? Plenty of my colleagues out there, and they'll have more maps to sell you. From Hakoa to the Sodic Waste. I thank Jordan for the tip and say goodbye. Farewell, child. Cool. Oh. I unlocked a piece of the map. You can navigate to the map screen. Once you've visited the place, you can fast travel to that location using your map screen. And your hover bike will also travel with you. Okay. So if I escape, go to the map screen. Now I've got a map of the Ewer. And the Ibex camp somewhere that I can fast travel to. Okay. But now, let's go collect the Rinky Dink. Me and your how can I break movement mindset. Nice. Yes, yeah, so if there was a way to get infinite 
stamina and regeneration through climbing and gliding. I think that would really break the immersion of the game, I suppose. You wouldn't want a sonic boom on your hands. Alright. Do you still not have anything for me? Yeah. Alright. See you later, disappointment. Drissappointment. <laughs> okay. Let's get some air! Ow. <laughs> uh, this thing really falls like a rock. No matter. An old ship, huh? I do like the world building. A full on sci fi ship that we're scavenging for parts. I feel like I'm on Tatooine. What have we got here? There's nothing of use to be found in the ship, but I notice a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Oh, I push the button. Voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording. It's barely audible. Stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot! Sorry, Ramen. Concentrate! I don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. Alright, let's see if what that old machinist told us holds up. If not, there will be hell to pay. I hear the sound of mechanical adjustments being made. Three clicks. Buttons being pressed, perhaps? Okay, when I push this orange thing, pull that lever. Hard. Yes, Ramen! Sound of a click and a loud grunt before a snapping sound. Oh, on Rohana's mask, not that hard, you've torn it out! Suddenly, the speakers are filled with static and a low rumble that gradually increases in pitch. And then the sounds of someone cheering. It works! We're flying! More cheering. Is that the sound of someone dancing? Okay, okay, let's focus. This thing's moving fast. We need it to slow down a bit. How do we do that, Ramen? How do we do that, Ramen? Let me check the machinist's notes. A long pause. The rumbling static sound that started playing when the ship took off is still increasing in pitch. R ramen That lever, Toma! The one you just ripped out! We're going too fast! We're gonna crash! We need to try to... The recording cuts off there. Well... Sounds like things did not go as planned. But maybe there are three buttons I can push somewhere that will uh, unlock the compartment where the part I need is. No, I, I don't want to do that again. Leave it alone. Oh. Scene. Are you looking for a calibrator? I'm immediately on guard. Simon has always been a mischief maker, and taken tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. In theory, I am older, more experienced, and should be more than able to withstand it. In practice? You won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never, never. She never fails to get to me. You're a horrible child. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're a horrible child. Sima laughs off my irritation, but I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I cross my arms and try to effect a change. I'll give you the calibrator. I put out my hand, proud of myself for standing tall before Sima. Uh, it won't be that easily. It won't be that easy, Sable. She's gonna offer us a riddle or something. If you give me some beetles! <laughs> That's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want. 
I try to decide if it's more mature to push her over and steal the calibrator, or to acquiesce. But then I simply stifle a sigh and shake her little hand. Perhaps some of the adults in the camp know where I can find some. Beetles, huh? Alright, well, I guess it isn't the... ...button puzzle I thought it was. No buttons, only beetles. Guess that's it for the ship. Let's, um... Let's head to the second one. I'll get the beetles later. Statues are cool. Nothing like giant statues to show that there is a mighty civilization that's risen and fallen. Empires come and go. Whoa! I did a flip! Um, where am I going? Over this way? I do make it through there. Um, I don't think I'll be able to go much further. Oh no, it's way over there. Okay. What's that sound? Hmm. I thought I heard an animal. the parts be where they need to be this time? <laughs> oh, we're going to climb all the way up there and fly across? Neat. this. I, uh, it's clear they borrowed a lot of little mechanics, were greatly inspired by Breath of the Wild, but it's just enough to sort of set the framework, and then for all the style and story, they really did their own thing. With their own, um, Scale? What's the right word? There we go. Oh, what's this? Looks dangerous. Let's climb in. The atomic power supply. Well, that was easy. Anything else to explore? Can I make it to the top? No, it doesn't want me to climb that. but I can jump. Uh-huh. Oh, where am I? There I am. Oh, and we're falling. Goodbye. 
That would have been a good opportunity to find out if there's fall damage. I didn't want to risk it. Is that the camp? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Next stop is yellow. Lots of little parts strewn about. I've been told what I'm looking for is on the other side of the dam. So let's go right up. Nothing in this ship. wonder, with all these wooden ship parts, where the wood hasn't decomposed, was this desert a body of water recently? Oh, I'm out of stamina. Hmm. Well then, I should climb up here and glide across. Hello? Looking like the, uh, shield generators of Hoth. Control panel. There we go. Well, it's down here. Oh, just... Just the view. Well, I can see why it crashed. All the stuff is behind the bars. How are you supposed to fly a ship if you can't reach any of the stuff? What is all this on my map? Okay, so it's like a dead end that way. Well, I want to check it out.
Because who knows if I'll ever be coming back here. Secrets are you hiding? Aha! A worm! What are you, like a little dunsparce guy? Chum egg! Is that what you are, chum? Offered up by chums when planting themselves into the ground. Perfectly smooth and hard as a rock, these eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to deliver these. Oh, that's what that counter is. Let's see what's over there. A graveyard, some sort of memorial, shrine. Am I gonna steal from this? You bet I am. Okay. Well, I think that's about it. Let's head back. Yep, and this cuts across back to where I was earlier. So let's, uh, let's fast travel. See if our bike joins us. I'm at the camp, and my bike is also here. Uh, this. I can remove that marker. Time to ask around about some beetles. Hello. Do you know where I can find the beetles? Paul McCartney. Oh, you only know where Ringo Starr is? Well, hmm. I could ask about catching beetles for that awful little Sima. Um, you know where I can find some beetles? There is a nest of beetles just east of here. You can't just walk up to one and catch it, though. There's some seeds growing on the rocks around the nest. Drop a seed on the floor and the beetle will start eating it, and then you can sneak up and grab it. Jotty greets me warmly. Um, you know, it is strange being called that. I tell Johnny how strange it is being called Glider instead of Sable or even Clan Child. Just trying to get you used to it. She seems to really like it, and maybe I like it too. My little Glider. Okay. Beetle detour to the east, you say. That's back the way by the dam, right? East of the camp. Oh. It's that where? Okay. East by northeast. Or... Wait, how turned around am I? Um... Yeah, 
Yeah, the way I'm facing right now. Yeah, there's the dam. Okay. Uh, that doesn't seem like a very good entry point. Let's go around the other side. I think we want to go up here and then across that bridge. Through the pipe. <laughs> seeds, seeds, seeds. see a beetle. There's guitar music. Thought for a second maybe somebody would be playing it nearby, but that's just my outer wilds brain. I'm thinking, oh, I can fly too. Seeds, huh? I, uh... I'm not seeing anything to pick up. Gather the beetles. Distract her with some food. Well, this one's cornered. Oh. Never too cornered. What if I crouch in through there? No. Seeds. I'm, uh... Are the seeds up in here? Aha! There we go. They weren't on the ground. There you go. Turns out, all you need is love. There's three beetles. But you know, why not go for four? Four just feels like... Oh. No, the rest of the beetles aren't hungry. Never mind. I got one. Okay. Go. Now to find the horrible child. Where could they be? Still back at the ship, maybe? Nope, they're not where I left them. 
guess I'll check the camp. child where would a small horrible child be oh what's this a bexy red dye cool and this oh well didn't need the beetles anyway. But I'll go find and give them to her, because I don't want I have no use for them anyway. Just showing her who's boss. I can still find the horrible child somewhere. No, not there. Um, no, I, I don't want to have this conversation again. Ask Jotty about her gliding. Tell you what, I'll tell you when you get back cross my arms in protest. How it all you want, I don't want to spoil any surprises. She lowers her voice to a whisper. But I did meet some crystal farmers once. His name was Heisenberg. Crystal farmers? And that's all I'll say about that. You should get going. But he's the danger. It's the one who knocks. Um, oh, hello. Buckethead. I haven't talked to you yet. Umar is a man of few words, and he's nothing if not consistent. A man after my own heart. Can I put this bucket on my head in solidarity? No. I'm not gonna throw his stuff around. I will steal money. It's all... call it part of my gliding fund. It takes a village. Okay. No, still no sign the sassy lost child. Ah, uh, Maybe I was supposed to go into the ship and then back out and she'd appear again? I don't know. I think it's worth a shot. Just the feel like I've done everything I can. I want to see if there's any sort of special interaction where I've got the beetles, but I've also already taken the calibrator. Some backtracking, but it's for the sake of my curiosity. Please understand. Oh, 
Okay. No. No sign. Huh. Give it to me if I give her three beetles. Deliver the parts to Sizzle. All right. I guess they're my beetles now. Go see Sizzo. I return to Sizzo with the parts, and it's as she waves me over that I feel a pain of sadness in my chest. When will I see her again once I'm gone? Well done, Sable. Yes. This is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? I'm ready. Sizzo relaxes in the workshop. It isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious ordinarily, but there's a certain calm beauty that one only truly appreciates when Sizzo is in her element. I wonder if it's this way for all machinists. What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquired, they fit together. Not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They have always belonged to her. All we are doing is assembling her from what she has already been. I nod and feel a soft buzzing in my ears. Among my clan, we believe that machines have names, held for ages like deep secrets, unheard by those unequipped to listen. We will find this one's name together. Assembling time! got this bit and it goes on here I've got this bit oh <laughs> some wings that back goes in goes in there the front This goes into the booster. Let's fuse. The steam achievements are spoiling the name of my hover bike. Sizzo tilts her head a moment, leaning closer to Simoon. All at once I know the hover bike's name. As soon as the steam achievement says Simoon, you built your own hover bike, I know that Simoon is its name. I say it in a whisper to let Sizzo know. It's Simoon. 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 Simoon? Maybe Simoon. I like Sea Moon better. Well done, Sable. <clears throat> uh, what sort of name is that?
Ask Sizzle what sort of name it is, and if it speaks to any particular clan or culture. If it does, then I do not know it. Perhaps you will find out on your journey. Sizzle shrugs, mostly to herself. Or perhaps you won't. I hardly think it matters. We're bonded all the same. I tell Samoon that I'm eager to know her better, and Sizu looks quite proudly at the both of us. You're ready then, for the gliding. May all the gods turn their faces from you, Sable. An odd blessing, perhaps, but Sizo is prone to such things, and I can read in her tone that it was meant quite sweetly. Must learn to listen to Simone, to care for her. Seek out my fellow machinists on your travels, Sable. It will teach you the art of machine whispering. Oh, and here, take this. It's a machinist badge. Meet plenty of my ilk on your gliding. Show them your worth, and they'll give you more badges. Badges? Badges? We don't need no stinking badges. But I do. Maybe if I collect eight, I'll get to go to the Indigo Plateau. I thank Sizzo twice for good measure, and give a bow. I am ready. I should speak to Jotty about the final ceremony. All right. Jotty! I'm ready for the final ceremony! Do I have to walk all the way up there? Not doing anything. Dangerous. Come meet me. No. Jotty. I return to Jotty with a new lightness. And it makes the weight of my departure feel heavier still. A strange day. Sable, is that a badge you've got there? Now Pokemon up to level 20. Well, oh, sorry, wrong game. Uh, Sizzo gave it to me. Tell Jotty that Sizzo gave me the badge. And you must have earned it. Well done. I give a bow of thanks. Well, Sable, if you keep this up, you'll be headed for the Mask Caster in no time. The Mask Caster? I'm trying to think about going to a Mask Caster, but it seems impossibly far away. Imagine choosing what I want to be? Imagine choosing what I want to be forever? I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You'll get plenty of badges when you're out there, and once you've got three alike, you can trade it in for that mask. But don't feel like your first mask is your final choice. The gliding is about freedom and exploration. I suggest you claim as many matches as, as many masks as you wish. Only at your final ceremony will you be asked to choose one. Oh, that sounds neat. Um, how will I choose one? You'll have to fuel it out. But when you know, you'll know. Now. The tone of her now puts the butterflies back in my stomach. With all this done, there's only one thing left. It's time then, isn't it? Time to walk through the face door at the Temple of Rohana. There, you'll assemble your gliding mask. And go. There are things I wish to convey to Jotty here. Depths of love and gratitude and fear and worry and hope. And though I find myself unable to speak any of it in words, I know she understands. Before you leave, child, I made you these. They're dyed with the traditional Ibexi maroon, and I hope provide you great comfort out in the desert. When you leave today, you will no longer be Sable, clan child of the Ibexi. You will simply be Sable, and the rest will come. But no matter what you are, no matter where your journey takes you, I will always know you. I will always love you, and I will see you again. I don't know where my journey will end, but I know where it must begin. And I'm ready. I should head to the temple. All right. Goodbye, post box. Goodbye, Grandma. Goodbye, bad parent. Goodbye, lost child.
Goodbye, map man. Goodbye, hello. Oh, hey. There's another chum. Nice. Uh, hello quotes from a selection of obscure and lyrically <laughs> mediocre Rebexi historical ballads whenever I pass by. There's a great verse that says much about our... Or wait, what was Halal's voice again? There's a great verse that says much about our folk buried under sand. Okay. All right. Found ya. Cool. Um. Where did I leave the bike? Down here. All right. Bye, Sizzo. Oh, wait. Why am I using this thing? Where's my actual bike? Do I get to use it yet? No, I guess not, not yet. Sizzle looks busy, I should leave her to it. All right, guess it'll show up for me at the temple. Don't be hasty, Roger. Like a glove. Okay. Oh, this is where I started, isn't it? Now I'm starting here again. Can I grab onto that? Nope. Um. This all looks pretty climbable back here. No, or not. Good. Okay, so there's the arrow and the platform there. Oh, there's an archer. See, that's where I came in. That's one corner. This is another corner. 
And there's the Mothman over there. Oh, what was that? Oh, just some air currents, I think. Well... This person looks like an astronaut. I wonder if I'm, like, choosing a class or something? Or maybe I'm overthinking it. Just get on the platform. Hello. Put on your helmet. Yep, that's step one. Gotta get up there. It's not so hard. When you've got a library card. Got enough stamina to get here. There we go. The way will reveal itself. This is the way. And the archer. And my bow. Now for Mothman. Um, let's see, heading from there to there. Can we really get up there at some point? Maybe it'll be easier to glide from up that way. us here and there's oh careful of the platforming there we go no problem kind of reminds me of a uh, I love when Rayman 3, the capital city of the Canaran. There was a big eagle statue and some floating platforms around it. In a subterranean desert city. Oh! A mask! My first mask. Oh, hello. Have you all come to watch? Except you. Guess you're gonna make it. The gliding has begun. Return to camp. Um. Can I equip it? There we go. There we go. There we go. I'm a new glider. Oh. And I struggle with ladders. Not to worry. I'll figure them out.
I'm going on an adventure. can do this. Not really any need to. Don't see any chum or anything. Uh, where did I leave my bike? Oh, I left it way up here. Didn't I? Uh, wait, no. Where did it go? I could have sworn. Um, the, the map. What's my bike doing out there? Did they automatically return the old bike and now it's my actual bike that's showing the position of? Maybe that's it. Where is everybody? It's early in the morning, but only post box showed up. Logging in. Hello, Sable. Oh, is this part of the part of the thing that nobody comes to meet me? Everybody's gone in my hometown, disappeared, and then I have to set out alone. Johnny's voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet still it warms me. Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, we will have gone. The gliding is a journey that must begin alone. There is a certain nuance lost in transmission, and for that I am grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and not run weeply into her arms to stay forever. But I am ready, and so I close my eyes and listen. But though you go off by yourself, you are not without friends, you are not without family, you are not without love. These things you will carry with you as you do your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go and see Utari. They're the machinists at Burnt Oak Station, and among Sizzo's closest friends. Tara's a good contact to have on once gliding, and a fine way to get another machinist badge if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion, though. As for us, I'll send another message once we've returned to the Ewer, so keep an eye on the post boxes. Try not to forget us. She takes a long breath, and I forget that things as easy as breathing could ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. Pretty cool. Where's my bike? Sea Moon, call out. Sea Moon. Oh. <gasps> there it is. Oh God, stop. Sorry, I think that was a bit loud. <laughs> okay. Here it is. Whoa. And if I swap to strafing. Yeah, I mean, when is that going to be useful? 
if I'm like stuck in a corner, I guess. Because you can't go backwards, you can't back up. But you can rotate pretty well. Zoom. I never checked out this spot over here. Okay. Any chums around? Yeah. Gotcha. Always a good chum offering me an egg in this trying time. I like the colors in the morning. This is cool. Um, let's let's take a look at our map. Collect more masks. Time to leave the canyon. Um, so let's see. We went behind the dam. We checked out all the stuff over there. Oh, and it shows me where I found chums. We've been around the camp. We've been to temple. We went to the nest. We went to that ship. That's the exit. Um, we've been there. We didn't really check out this corner. So maybe I'll have a look around there before we go. Can't say I'll aim for a hundred percent completion with this game, but just starting out, I like to have an idea, get get a sense of how many secrets are out there. Learn the language of the exploration of this game, so to speak. Oh yeah, there was that place. Oh no, so we did kind of go in there. We went over in there. Okay. Yeah. So that's not gonna be anything. Um. Okay, so we have been in there. We did all the gliding in there. Okay. Then let's -a go. Unless, do I think I missed a chum around there? Ah. Uh, can't cry over every missed chum. My journey is only beginning. Yes, it's much quieter than the rental. All right. Through the gate. Here we go. Just the two of us. Me and Seamoon. I kind of wish that just there, the title of the game had just kind of superimposed itself on my view as I was gliding out like this, rather than breaking the moment to show it over the gateway. I feel like just the music and the title coming in with all this would have been enough. And having it be like, all right, here I go, and stop, and okay, there you go. 
It's a little... Kind of kills the momentum of the moment. Look at all this stuff. Let's go look at this. Hello. Anyone home? Climb up here, get our bearings, see if anything stands out. Okay. Um, let's check the map. So now, we're out in this big area. And the town up that way is a good place to go first. That way? No. Okay, so that's south. I see, so that that's where the crater was. That way. Aha, uh -huh. and there's the map. Map man. Map man! Okay. Oh. Looks good to me. Uh, let's stop by that thing on our way. Side. Hello. Um. Nice. Oh, chum. I want to use Ascend right here. But that's not the game we're playing. Um, okay, maybe I can go up that way and head around? Another chum. Boy, they are everywhere. This desert's lousy with chums. Okay. Up we go. Hello? Sandy dye. The dye bottle for the colors of the Sandy bike. Let's 
Oh, and another chump's up here. You're just the regular Koroks, aren't you? That's what you are. Any high little secret places, and there you are. Man, the sound of the wind is so nice. I don't know if there's enough... I feel like we're listening to wind going through leaves. I don't, I'm not seeing enough leaves to justify that sound, but... It's a nice sound regardless. Wow, look at all that space. Trees and stuff over there, stuff over there. Let's make our way to the next map. I, I won't be t playing too much longer. I think it's going to be a little bit of a shorter stream today. Uh, let's get to that first town. guys up there. I think we gotta head up this way. Oh. Some sand sliding, huh? There be some kind of shield surfing equivalent. if I can ever upgrade my stamina bar. There we are. I'm gonna make it. Cartographer's balloon. Oh, uh, yep. I made it. But look at that. Hello. I greet the cartographer shyly, a little cowed by how alone we are up here. And how intimate that sometimes feels, despite it being so much a part of my gliding. She responds with what sounds like a warm smile. Hello there, glider. Thanks for taking the time to climb all the way up here. Surveying gets a little lonely sometimes, you know? I tell her I do, given how lonely I can get on the sand sometimes. I hope Sea Moon doesn't hear. So then, what is it you need? Can I buy a map? Of course. Uh, cartographer's badge? What, you can just buy a badge? It's often quite a journey to get to them, but the views are incredible and they're always worth speaking to about the local area. A map of the Sand Sea. Made and sold by members of the guild. Well, I'll buy that. And you know, why not? This doesn't seem like the kind of game that will trick you. I don't, I don't feel like it would sell something that I could get through other means. So I, I'm guessing buying it's the only way to get it. And I'd like to have it. Oh wait, how many would you like to buy? Oh, just the one, right? Okay. And if I sell? Oh, I could sell beetles. Um. Yeah, why not? Kid didn't show up to collect them. So I'll sell them all. There we go. 
That mostly pays for the badge. Oh, and now you have the beetles. I can buy them back. Isn't that friendly? Okay. Thanks, glider. Goodbye. Okay. So we look at our map. Whoa. Look at all that. Um. Hmm. Okay, so I think this is the smoke I was seeing at one point. Looking in the wrong direction. Oh. Huh. Okay. Uh, where did I leave my bike? Down there. No, oh, over this way. There it is. Okay. Is there a place in my inventory? No. Uh... Or I can check... Okay, so I've got my chum eggs and dyes there. Key items. My maps and... Components. Quest items. Bike parts. Here are my badges. Okay. That's where I'm going. Not seeing any other landmarks between me and there. Hello? Are you friendly? Whoa. Burnt Oak Station. Alright, let's park and have a look-see. Oh, can I crouch through here? No. Oh, do I hear someone? Got your bed there. But you're sleeping on the job here, huh? It is a challenge not to view scrappers through quite a romantic lens. What, are they... are they the pirates of this world? As I look toward my gliding as a child, I pictured myself as a dust-covered traveler, exploring strange forbidden places and finding strange forgotten things. Oh no, they're like a treasure seeker. Well, kind of piratey. Kind of Indiana Jones-like. A treasure hunter of old and arcane objects. And though I'm certain the grind of sifting through sand and dirt for useful tools and things left over it can wear anyone down, I cannot help but weave some thread of my fantasy into the reality of the work. Greetings, Glider. Name's Altine. I give a bow and introduce myself as Sable. You find much scrap metal out there, Sable? Um, it's been known to happen. Haven't found any yet, actually. Good, good. Altine leans back and looks up at the ceiling thoughtfully. Got a task for you, then, if you're up for it. The hesitation in my voice is a product of a gentle intimidation, but I stand up straight and casual enough to seem like I'm up for anything. Altine seems to believe it. Enough. I need scrap, Sable, and lots of it. And you out there already doing basically nothing. Altine chuckles to himself. I uh, shouldn't say it like that. Gliding's odd, eh? You have nothing to do, so you have everything to do. 
Wonder if anyone's ever spent their gliding just lying around. Um, might be easier. Don't know if that counts. I would die. You know, I, I think it counts. From what I can tell, the gliding is an act of freedom. You can do with you what you want. If somebody actually wanted to just uh, find a cozy spot to sleep and lie around watching the clouds go by, I think that's a gliding in its own right. But personally, I think that would be pretty boring for streams. I tell Teen that I would probably wither away if my gliding were anything so dull, and that my sun-bleached skeleton would be found on a rock, passed away from boredom. He snorts a laugh, and I laugh too, and so he doesn't know about the shrieking half-second I spend in terrified contemplation of my mortality. Or not to mention it. Oh, being a skeleton's not so bad, Sable. Clears his throat. Anyhow, the task. Let's see if you can understand this one, yeah? It's a bit complex. I tell him I'm ready. Go out, find scrap, bring it to me. Uh, how much do you need? Ask Altin how much he might need. How much can you carry? I show him my arms and pockets for scope. Scope! That's the word I was thinking of earlier when I said scale. Uh, that this game has its own scope compared to something as big as Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I need that much. As many times as you can do it. <laughs> I tell him I'm happy for any reason to explore, and I'll return with everything I find. I say goodbye to Altine. Treasure scrappers. All right, find scrap, bring it here. Understood. But who else is in this town? Um, let's glide around. Might be a better way to reach the town. Yeah, here we are. Oh, look at that! Parking spots. All, all just uh, right, right, right around. And and wait. Yep. Uh, there we go. I feel like I should have gotten an achievement for uh, being a good parker. The machinist looks me over. You're late. I'm perfectly on time. No. I tell them yes. They at least consider it. Hmm. No, you were late. Perplexed, I wait for them to explain themselves, but they seem to wait for the same. Briefly, I feel a hint of shame as I remember times I've been late among the Ibexi. Things I have slipped up in doing. But I dismiss my doubts as I recall that I have no idea who this strange machinist is. I ask them. My name is Utari. Of immediate relevance to you is that I am a friend of Sizo. I ask then if Sizo alerted them to my impending arrival. Perhaps she looks out for me and sets waypoints and oases along my gliding. A comforting thought. No, 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 it was your hover bike. I heard it for the first time months ago and felt the shape of its voice. Of, of her voice, sorry. I tell Utari that it was not Simoon they heard, for Sizo and I only built her a few days hence. They waved their hands at me in a hurried dismissal. Sizo teach you so little. The voices of our machines are eternal, more ancient even than their forms. I hear them, as I always have, and yours I thought would revisit me sooner. Here we are. Now let us speak of why you have come. Our needs converge atop the wind tower. Uh, tell me more. Something has stopped the tower working. I was hours away from going to see it for myself, but you and Simoon came after all. Go there, mend what is broken, or soothe what is hurt, and I will give you what you seek. I ask Utari if they know what I seek. I admit that I might not direction. I'll be waiting for you. Travel swiftly and safely. I say goodbye to Utari. A stubborn snag.
I see. More masks. Treasure scrappers. That all sounds good. What else is going on in this town? Free money? Oh no, a narrow stock fig. Undoubtedly my favorite fruit. The first thing I would ask for when we pass traveling merchants with the Ibexi. Hello. This town has their own bucket head. Shepherd Leo. Well met, Glider. Uh... We had goats in my clan. Ah, so you are familiar with their temperament. I suppose you are Ibexi? Say hello to Umar and Jadi for me. Well met, Glider. Well met. Uh, what's in that glass vial? Oh, I made this. It's a color palette for a hover bike, inspired by my work as a herder. Here, take some, I insist. I'd be very proud to see you riding a bike with my colors, Sable. Well met, Glider. What's up with the statue? Ah, you may recognize her. Oana. She was a great herder of many creatures. They say she came from the whale and herded the ancestors of the creatures we heard today. We teach that keeping your herd near her statues will keep them together, well fed and healthy. Well met, Glider. See you around. Cool. And who are you? Hello? Hello? No? You, you, you don't want to talk to me? Oh dear, you don't even have a face. It's terrifying. Oh, hello. Another egg. Racking them up. Oh, and there's one up there too. Oh, hello. I met Aoife, the innkeeper of the camp. What can I do for you? Uh, do you have any tasks that need doing? Before I can even finish the question, Aoife shouts, Larval husks! I repeat the words back to her as a clarification. She nods. I need some larval husks. They're... How much do you know about beetles? Oh, a little bit. What is a beetle, really? Well, not sure if this part of that little bit, if this is part of that little bit, but larval husks are what gets left behind when the beetle larvae grow. Beautiful, really tough casings. If you don't mind, I'd be grateful if you could collect some for me. The type I'm looking for are Hercules beetles. You won't need to go far, but the nest is guarded by the mother beetle. You're going to have to find a way to get past her. And tell her I'll do my best. Anything else I can help you with? Nope. Goodbye. Remnants of change. What a poetic way to think about it. Um... Let's... Climb... Up on top. Oh, hello. Can I talk to you? Nope. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's the same it's the same shape as a stable sorry about all the Zelda comparisons but I feel like they're asking for it <laughs> uh, but that's fine this game is also good oh what's this lights a dusk firefly. And a bucket. Oops. Oh, hello. The mask caster sits unmoving, silent. I can't tell if the mask caster is human or something else. I've heard about mask casters and stories about glidings before. Gliders should collect three badges of a set and bring them to the caster, from whom the mask shall be cast. 
I should look for some more badges. I leave the mask caster. Cool. Alright. Oh, hey. I've got mail. Whoa! Look at the size of that guy! Hello! Glider, welcome! Come view my wares! Um... I'd like to trade with you. Smashing! Have a gander at my goods! Okay. Beetle bike parts and scrapper bike parts. Well, that's all pretty expensive. Uh, so another time, perhaps. Till next time, friend! See you soon! Yes, right now. Um, tell me about this camp. This is one of the many beetle tent stations around Midden, named after that big old burnt tree over there. Not sure what species an oak is, mind. There's plenty of characters passing through here. They're all worth a bother if you're on your gliding. Never know what badges and masks you might pick up. Don't be shy. Chat to the tent owners, interrogate the machinists, and any other people you see around. There's also the scrapper's yard just below the big crane over there. There's a lazy scrapper down there who will make finding scraps worth your time. See you soon. Yes, one last thing. Um, where can I get a merchant's badge? Merchants aren't liable to just give out badges freely. Your best bet there is to head to Ekria. There's a big market in town there, worth trying to... Iria's... Worth trying to... Uh, I think get Iria's attention if you want to get yourself some merchant badges. Be careful how you do it, mine. She's not the friendliest customer. See you soon. Uh, but I also have to tell you... That's a big beetle. He's a big boy, Fred. Don't let his size fool you, though. He's a soppy fella. Loves a snuggle. Won't help you much if a worm attacks. Oh, shit, there's worms in this game. But he can pull anything through a sand drift without any struggle. See you soon. See you later. Uh, yeah, I've been through there. I checked out that. So, just the post box. Logging in. Hello, Sable. Unread messages. Oh! <laughs> kind of looks like a surprised face. <laughs> Unread messages. Oh! Have a good day. Okay. Well, I think it's time to make camp for the night. Oh, hello. It's like this guy's doing. And we'll, we'll continue our adventure tomorrow, I think. I... I like this game. And I hope you do too. Come along for the rest of my gliding. Won't you? Um... How do I... Save. Settings, show credits, save. 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 Okay. Exit to title. All right, Skellywags. A new voyage has begun, and it shall continue. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Um, I'll try to start a little bit earlier tomorrow so I can fit some more in. Uh, oh, this music's new. Uh, but until next time, Bone Voyage! Oh wait, it's playing both audios, isn't it? Actually, the song's really nice. I'm gonna use it as the outro music.